let's have some fun in the Corvette C8 and um, sorry sir excuse me was that really necessary well I guess you're gonna show us the Corvette from behind which is nice but I think I'd rather get by again so leave me some space will ya sir hello um okay well, and with that, welcome back to HD Racing, to the Quick Look series, where we endeavor to take a look at every single car from the Forza GT series for multiplayer. And you've guessed it, today we are going to take a look at the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Racing C8R. And this is a very fun car for me, I have to say. Might be one of my favorites from the cars that I've tried so far. And I'm going to show you why and where this car is good and where it is maybe not so great. First, in this race at Road America, but also afterwards, like I always do, I will show you a hot lap comparison so you get an idea of how strong the car is compared to the other cars that we've already seen. But for now, let's take a look at the race start here at Road America, starting on P2, only qualified behind the Audi in front, which A is a fast car and B was a very good driver, so couldn't really compete. And also, I'm gonna make a big mistake already in the first corner, I break a little bit too much and since I don't have ABS on, I lock up my tires and go wide. Luckily nothing major happened and only one guy gets through in the Viper. Um, but yeah, it's now uh, on me to keep the other guys behind me and well, I'm also gonna try to catch up again uh, to the guys in front because I think I have the pace to do kind of well here. But let's see what we can do. Um, yeah, for now we are gonna head to the big braking zone here after the long straight and I break a little bit late maybe but I think it's fine get a little bit of an oversteer moment and well this other Corvette decides to just push his way through and has no regard for other people being here. Um, for this next one uh, the guy behind in the Porsche also uh, catches me a little um, bumps me in the back but I, he backed off it seemed like so I don't think that was intentional uh, and he didn't uh, wanted to push his way through like that so always nice to see everyone makes mistakes so I don't think that this was intentional but yeah now I'm in P4 and well the guy in front got a big penalty for what he did so maybe we can uh, do something with that um, but yeah as I'm trying to catch up here I actually want to just quickly talk about how the channel is doing because as of recording this we've just hit 1000 subscribers and it's ridiculous to me I have to be honest here and it's so amazing to see that so many of you are enjoying the videos and interacting with them be it through comments through likes and well also subscribing of course and it's really amazing to see so thank you so much um, for yeah, well, being here and watching the videos um, and as you can see the uh, Dodge Viper in front definitely had a bit of a, a, a moment in that uh, one right-hander and uh, did fall back a little bit um, but well not quite enough for me to overtake him yet but I'm trying to well get a good exit or for this main straight and I think I did manage quite well a little bit of slipstream also helps and I managed to get alongside but I'm on the outside uh, he definitely took a line to defend so this is gonna be quite difficult get a little bit of, of bumping going on but nothing major he definitely left me space there and I tried to do the same so yeah I don't think there was any any harm done in that uh, well I have to concede the position once again but I'm still on his tail and just trying to um, get by him again a little bit of a better exit and the slipstream will help and I just try this time to go on the inside for the next turn and well managing to get by him for now I'm still braking in a way that leaves him enough space um, but for some reason um, he I don't know what, what happened there he seemed to just disappear it looked like he had pressed his menu button uh, after the braking so it was a little bit weird but he was basically just gone after that um, cutting ahead a little bit here to the end of this second lap um, we have the guy in front of us that did Remus in the yeah, well, first uh, corner after the long straight in lap number one and well you're gonna see something very special from this driver um well it's gonna be interesting i definitely get a better exit here onto the straight and i'm like okay where is he going okay he seems to be going to the left so let's just go to the right he cuts me off completely and uh, like I, you can tell me that this wasn't on purpose it really looked like it but well sometimes that isn't the best idea um, like maybe he didn't see me but I really doubt that from the incident in the, in the first lap so 
I think in this case he got what was coming for him uh, with that maneuver. That really backfired for him. Um, so we get the position back, lost a little bit of time and the Aston behind definitely was able to catch up and that means that we are gonna be, well, <laughs> have a little bit of a fight going on basically for the rest of the race and it was really great so uh, props to, to Dengel27. It was an amazing race overall. Um, from this point on um, we were definitely fighting a lot and you're gonna see some of that uh, in the upcoming minutes here. Um, but yeah, for now we did cut ahead a little to lap number four. Uh, we were just you know, fighting a little bit and I was managing to keep him behind for now. But he was definitely faster in some sections and I was a little bit struggling to defend. Uh, for this corner, taking the inside and he, well, gets quite a good launch on the outside. A little bit of a bump, he was going quite wide, uh, but nothing major once again. Um, I go a little wide, I think, on, on this turn here. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I think overall I, w I was taking a little bit of a, a wide line here. Um, and also, I think he was just faster in that section. Might be because of the Aston is just a... Well, better in, in these handling sections. Uh, I seem to be pulling away a little bit on the straights. Um, so that is our first indication of what this car is about. Um, well, since this is a quick look at the Corvette, let's actually talk about that for now. Um, the car feels very, very good to drive. I think this is like the best handling car that I've driven in the GT series so far. Um, it might not be the best performing car. There are definitely other cars which are faster. Um, but hold that thought, actually, as we go into the pits, uh, this is going to be quite interesting. You can see 0.5 seconds of a gap to the guy behind in the Aston. Um, and, well, we go into the pits, basically, uh, with this gap. And I just take uh, new tires, don't take any fuel. I'm like, okay, let's see what we can do here. And you can already see, uh, once we in, uh, exit the pit box, um, the Aston behind is now the Aston in front, at least a little bit. I don't quite know what happened here. I mean, there seems to be some random element of how long a pit stop lasts or, or can last. There's a minimum time and then it just seems to vary a little bit. But he was 0.5 seconds behind me and my pit stop didn't take all that long and still he managed to come out in front. I really don't know why that is. Um, maybe his pit stop was just super fast and there, but I don't know. At least for me, it showed 2.5 second pit stop um, minimum, and I wasn't much over that. So, yeah, I don't know. Felt really weird. And well, because of this, as I said, don't know why, but I find myself now behind him. Uh, don't mind the actual positions uh, now in P8, but this is gonna change because well, a lot of guys didn't pit yet, um, as I definitely outbreak myself here quite a lot and. Well, ram into the Aston in front, and I'm like, okay, this was really not not a good move. So I, I did slow down there and did let him through again. Didn't want to get a position with a maneuver like that. It wasn't intended, but still, in the, just I don't want to do that. If if there's any chance and I make a mistake like that, I'll just uh, let people through again. Um, I think it's good racing etiquette to do so. Um, and we're now jumping ahead to the end of this lap and well it's gonna all kick off um, basically after this uh, first straight here um, as I said a lot of fighting uh, with him and it always seemed like on the straights I was performing better but in the corners the Aston seemed to be doing better I haven't driven the Aston yet um, but I can definitely say as the, the Corvette feels good in terms of handling, it's very easy to control, it still feels very responsive, but I feel like it's not all that fast in the corners maybe. And we're also gonna see that a little bit in the uh, hot lap I'm gonna show you afterwards. Um, in, in this corner I managed to just uh, pick a better line, go on the inside and well, as I, I managed to, to get uh, alongside him, I then decided for the next corner I'm just gonna take the inside again <laughs> as uh, some people in front who haven't pitted yet seem to be struggling on tires and going off track uh, and I managed to well get a little bit of clearance from the Aston behind 
um, for now, <laughs> as I get a little bit spooked by this guy reversing back onto the track, I've seen that, well, people that are ghosted can be unghosted in an instant and at sometimes at times you don't expect, so I was really trying to avoid that, losing a little bit of time and uh, Dangle in the Aston behind is once again on my tail. And again, I take a little bit of a wide line here, um, but well, I don't know, it, it might be because of my line, it might also be because of um, well, the, the car itself, as we both go wide out of that corner and well, just do a little bit of mowing of the, the lawn there. Um, yeah, at least he did follow me and um, we basically had the same uh, incident there, it was was kind of interesting and funny at that time, but yeah. Um, for now, I'm able to keep him behind. Um, so, um, we are jumping now into the last lap and he is still behind me and still quite close. We were fighting basically the, the whole time and uh, this time again I go way too wide uh, in this, I think this is called the carousel. I'm, I'm not quite sure about the corner names for this track. Um, but he definitely takes a better line there and manages to get by and I am well, well forced to just take a back seat here and I'm like okay okay he has a little bit more of a penalty but it's not much but well let's try to stay close to him so we actually have a chance um, and I get a chance because he seems to outbreak himself a little bit and messes up that corner just a little bit and I managed to get by and well just two corners left and I'm like okay I should have this well basically it's only only one corner because uh, well the other one was not really much of a corner but we are turning onto the main straight here and I managed to keep him behind but really good race props to Dangle was really really fun but I, I managed to keep it uh, in P2 as I said P1 was long gone a in the Audi and B very good driver it seemed like so well not much I could do there but let's now jump into the hot lab and actually talk a little bit more about the car's strengths and weaknesses since I haven't really been able to do that in the race because there was so much going on um, so yeah uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, two uh, laps here on Barcelona because they were very very close in lap time uh, so you're gonna be able to see um, so yeah, what is this car about? As I said, very very good in terms of handling in my opinion. It just feels good to drive and with that comes also great consistency, at least for me. Um, I think it's a very beginner friendly car. And because of the way it handles, it doesn't have any crazy understeer. Um, a little bit definitely, but not crazy. And it also isn't oversteery like basically at all. Like sometimes the rear can come out on you just a little bit but it's nothing major and definitely nothing compared to some of the other cars it just feels very very nice to drive and yeah that's the main thing about this car it feels nice it's beginner friendly but it is not the fastest i have to say that it's also not the slowest um, we've definitely also seen other cars already that are slower than this one but um i think this car sits somewhere in the middle uh, it's definitely slower than the Audi. I mean, so far nothing can compete with that. It's The Audi is just way too strong. But it's also a nice comparison to see how far behind the Audi we are. And compared to, for example, the Acura NSX, we are a little bit farther behind. Um, as you're going to be able to see at the end of this lap, we are uh, going to do a 144.772, I think it was. Um, so it's decent, but it's not great. And the Acura, as I said, definitely faster in its stock tune. But the Acura also is a car that is very unpredictable in certain circumstances and I just wasn't able to be very consistent with it. This car just is the consistency machine for me and this is why I think it is good for beginners and also good for me for racing for example because you can just focus on the racing on the fighting with other people and don't have to worry about the car trying to murder you like some other cars uh, might try to do um, it's fun and I, I think if you like this kind of more uh, stable approach uh, to cars then you're gonna, gonna definitely like it and if you uh, know a little bit of tuning then you can I think also make this car quite a lot faster 
Uh, probably can you reduce the arrow a bit. Uh, gearing needs a little bit of work. Uh, it's also one thing, as I have a little, or quite the, the moment here on the curb, and this is what kind of ruined this lap. Could have been like 0 0.1, 0.2 faster. Um, but well, in the end it's not gonna be. It's gonna be very similar to the first one. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, gearing can definitely uh, do with a little bit of work and one thing about this car is that the rev limiter um, or the, the, the red line is, is, is a very short range of where you uh, want to shift up and where the car actually hits the rev limiter. It's one th thing that, especially on curbs, can sometimes th throw you off a little bit. Um, but other than that, as I said, the car feels just great to drive. And if it was just a little bit faster, it would be a very strong contender for like the top cars uh, in the GT series. Like this, it is definitely uh, in, in, the, in the top. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure since I haven't driven every other car yet how far the top, um, but it's definitely not a bad car. And I think a lot of people will get a lot of enjoyment out of this car because of the way it drives and because of the way that it is not a like super slow car like for example the Lambo was that we did take a look at which was just very slow in its dock tune. This one is just well middle of the road I would say. But yeah this is what I wanted to show you. You could see the the second lap there was just 1000 uh, uh, off the first lap which was kind of ridiculous to me which, I, which is why I wanted to include that as well and also because of the uh, moment that you saw which uh, well could have been a little bit of a better lap as well but yeah this is all i have to say about the c8 as i said great car drives great great visibility um, straight line speed is quite good um, it's just it just lacks a little bit of pace um, in terms of cornering speed in my opinion um, but yeah, definitely also if you have tried the car, um, then let us know in the comments uh, what your experience is. Um, maybe you've also tried some tuning already and can tell us what can be done with it. Uh, we'd definitely like to hear from you. And if you uh, decide to pick up the car, also let us know how you get on with it. Because I think, uh, as I said before, it's a great car to drive and ha have fun with in, in races, in multiplayer for sure. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it that, that you uh, did watch the video. And if you could subscribe to the channel, if we haven't already, that would be amazing as well. As I said, we've hit 1000 subscribers, which is crazy to me. But yeah, um, I really love that the channel is growing so much. And I hope we can grow further and yeah, have an awesome com community going. Because this is what it's ultimately about. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Uh, I really want to thank you for watching. I've been HD Racing. See you next time.